Hi, my name is Ultimat, and today I'm proud to present you the latest innovation in the Launchpad game. A bit over a year ago, a very talented Launchpad artist Exige released his cover of Zed's Find You, which featured a whole new world of light effects for the Launchpad. When asked about the lights, Exige responded that he used a custom-made Maxwell Live device with the light shows that allowed quicker workflow and programming of light shows. And today, we are happy to get our hands on this device and it's available to everyone for free. In layman's terms, Exige's device allows to control MIDI files with a single note. And with that, you can not only activate MIDI note based light shows, like the ones you might have seen made by Inspirasper and Avex Sands, but also activate MIDI notes that have melodies and harmonies written in them to control VST plugins and play notes with just one button. So far, most launch patterns have used chain-based light shows that require a lot of processing power to display just one effect. Now you can easily draw out your light show sequence with MIDI notes and simply load the file into the device. Not only is light show programming faster, but what also got a whole lot easier is making your light shows colorful. While normally one effect was with single color, now you can make every button a different color of your choice with ease. Now it's time to download the device and install it. The download link is available in the video description. Please note that this device requires Max for Live being installed in your computer, otherwise the device will not work. After you've downloaded the file, unzip it. Inside the download folder, there are two folders that need a specific place to be installed into. Otherwise, the device might become glitchy and unusable. Here is where you have to put the folders on both the Mac and PC. After you're done, open up Ableton and set those folders to the sidebar of Ableton to get faster access to them. Now the devices are correctly installed, we can start using it. Let's dive into Ableton and see how the device works. Like always, the launchpad needs a feedback track. Setting it up is familiar to most of you. But for those who don't yet know, this is how you set it up. First, you have to make sure that your launchpad is connected properly. First and foremost, connect your launchpad to your computer with an USB MIDI cable. Next, go into Preferences and open up the MIDI Sync tab and set the launchpad as your control surface. And also, set your inputs and outputs track and remote up like this. Next, you're going to need two MIDI tracks. The first MIDI track is for your drum rack, where you will load up all of your samples and everything that has to do with audio. The second MIDI track is for LED feedback. On this track, we will contain all of our light shows. Click on the little I.O. button on the right side of Ableton to open up your inputs and outputs. And on the LED feedback track, set the MIDI from to the drum rack track. Turn the monitor to in and set the MIDI to to your launchpad's output. Channel settings may differ on certain types of launchpads. For example, the Mark II and Pro need to be set to channel 6 to have LED feedback. Now that we have feedback, it's time to load up the devices. The device consists of two parts. One is the master device, which allows to save and load up your project's light show settings, and the other one is for inputting your MIDI files and changing the speed of it. The first device we load up is the master device. We don't have to do anything with it just yet. Just have it sit behind all of the devices for now. After that, drag in the second device. Now what you need is a MIDI file to be displayed. There are demo MIDI files provided by Exige for you to try out. Simply click and drag one of the MIDI files into the box where it says MIDI. Now your effect is loaded up and at the moment any button you press on the launchpad displays the same effect. To make just one button display a certain effect, you're going to have to group the device and set it to the note of your choice in the key zone editor, like you would normally do with the chain based light effects. Duplicate the same chain and set it to the key next to it. The previous MIDI file is deleted from the device, so you can load up a new effect without worrying about deleting the previous one. Go ahead and load up another MIDI file from the demo folder and drag it into the MIDI box like with the previous one. Now you should have different effects on a different button. 
Let's say you want to close out of your project to do other things. Just saving the project will not do, since the Lightroom mappings will disappear if you won't save them. This is where the master device comes in. As you have probably guessed, you have to save your light show with this device. Simply click on either save or save as to save the settings of your light effects. Name your file and save it. It is better if you make a separate folder for your own MIDI files. But for now, let's save it into the demo folder. Make your custom folder here when you start making your own MIDI effects, just to keep things a bit more tidier. Now the next time you open up your session, click on load on the master device and select the file you saved previously. Now your previous light show settings are loaded up and ready to be used. And that is it on how to use the device. Now you've got to start making your own MIDI light shows. As a little bonus, I've thrown in a couple of MIDI effects I made to get you started. I will show you really quickly how to make one effect yourself and how to use it in your own projects. Let's say I want to make a wave of lights go across the launch pad like this. For this, I will make a new MIDI track with light feedback and make a new MIDI clip for it. When you press a button on your launch pad, you will also see a note lighting up in red that displays the note you are pressing. Let's start drawing in the sequence. With a little practice, you can get a hang of making MIDI note based light shows quite fast. Now that we have completed our sequence, it's time to make it look good. Let's make the effect a little faster with this button. These buttons are very very useful when making light shows. Get familiar with these buttons since they will start contributing greatly to your programming process. Okay, now our effect is faster and looks more smoother, but it still looks a little choppy for me. Let's extend the MIDI notes to give the effect a little tail. The more you add to it, the longer the tail gets. It's pretty much the same as adding the note length effect to your chain. Now our effect is running very smooth. Let's go the extra mile by giving it some nice colors. I want this effect to start with the color green and smoothly fade into red. Since I'm using the S version of the launch pad, I don't have many colors to go around. So let's change the velocity of each note with these bars down here. I have the color codes written out in front of me to make the process even faster. You can check out the color codes for the different launch pads in the description. Okay, now that my effect is looking just the way I like, it's time to export it and import it into the device. Go ahead and right click on the MIDI clip and click on export MIDI clip. Save it to a place of your choice. I suggest a custom folder for all of your personal light shows. Now our effect is ready to be loaded up into the device and being put into use. What also is great about the device is that you can use it with default Ableton MIDI effects as well to change the position of the effect, color and so on. Experiment around with them to get a good feeling with both of them. And that is it about the device. Thank you for joining me today in this tutorial video. Also, a round of applause to Exige for taking the time to make this device a reality and sharing it with us. Again, the download links for the device and a small light pack I made for the device are available in the video's description. Again, my name is Ultimat and thanks for watching this video on the new MIDI extension device.